What is up, guys? This is your boy OG Teddy, and today I am going to be bringing you a story time. Now, this is not no high school story time. This is not no college story time. This is actually a high school story time. I lied to you guys. It is a high school story time. So, as you all know, this is OG Teddy. But, story time. I shall be called Jimmy for now on. We're about to come up. Why you at the party? I'll be working to the sun up. Yeah. I just want to live my life and give you everything that I can get. So, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, your boy OG Teddy, aka known as Little Boy Jimmy. And Jimmy is bringing you a story time. The story time, Jimmy meets Blue Balls. Now, before I get to the story time, I want to say a big shout out to my subscribers and my fans that's been staying active and there through the grind, even at the live streams. Just so you guys know. I be streaming on Twitch a lot, so if you guys want the Twitch link, it will be in the description below. But thank you for the 2,000 subscribers, guys. That's our second milestone reached. Many more to come. Next goal, let's get to 2,500. But, Jimmy meets Blue Balls. So, it was a little bright, sunny morning. I'm gonna say it was around February. It wasn't that bright, but it was a little bright. Jimmy was talking to this girl named... Kylie, we could say. Her name was Kylie. Now, Jimmy and Kylie, they were alright. They were close in a way. They talked for a little bit. But, they really never fucked. They didn't do anything else. They made out. They touched. Jimmy never knew how it felt to get his dick wet. His dick never touched the trend. Never did any of that. But this day, Jimmy's day will change forever. Jimmy goes to the park with Kylie. Kylie has a conversation with Jimmy. They play on the monkey bars. It was around his freshman year of high school. Little Jimmy didn't know what was going on. He started making out with her. They were chilling on the, the grass. He remembers like it was yesterday. He was playing basketball, okay? With Kylie. Kylie thought she could beat him. Basically how the game went was. There's an ice cream truck that drives around the park around 4 o'clock every day. Whoever won that basketball game. Get to free ice cream. Now, Jimmy knew this was going to be a challenge. Because Jimmy knew Kylie was an all-star. She was a baller. Jimmy. Little Jimmy. Looked like Steve Urkel. He was goofy. He couldn't even make a layup at times. He barely could make his shot. Jimmy was scared. He was in debt. He didn't know what was going on. But Jimmy sucks it through. He beats her by one. Jimmy goes to Kylie. You owe me an ice cream, you know. Kylie goes, I know. Jimmy goes, yeah. We go to the ice cream truck at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock ice cream truck goes around by. All you hear is do -do 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 You know the ice cream sound it makes. Jimmy was hungry. He was looking forward to a strawberry, strawberry shortcake ice cream. The, you know, the, the eclair bars. Those just were money. Now, as the story goes on, they eat ice cream. Kylie buys the ice cream for Jimmy. They go lay down and look on the, the grass. I don't know. It starts, the sun started to fall. It was around 5 or 6 o'clock now. Jimmy started making out. Kylie started making out with Jimmy. They started feeling up each other. Now this is where shit got fucked up. Poor Jimmy. She started touching his mans. Jimmy was like, uh oh. He's about to get some action. Jimmy hasn't even got a hand job at this point. Maybe a little dick touch but not even a hand job. But Jimmy knew shit was about to go down. So the children of the park, right in the grass, lay down. Kylie takes out her ponytail. It was like an epic movie. Puts that shit on her hair. Put that shit a ponytail. Little hair tie and shit. Put that shit up. Kylie starts to go to town. As it goes on, Jimmy's getting head. Jimmy's enjoying this field. He's like, this is the best field ever. Because Jimmy never had sex, so he doesn't know what that field is yet. But Jimmy knows this head game is... A1. He finds out later down the road, though, as he gets older, there was better head. The bitch used teeth on poor Jimmy. Jimmy's dick was getting cut up like it was Jaws. But Jimmy didn't care. Jimmy was like, I gotta bust this nut. I have to bust this nut. As Kylie goes to suck Jimmy's dick, she's sucking on it, slobbered on it, slipping. She gets phone call. Bling, bling, bling. It's her mom. Kylie, you gonna be home for dinner? 
Jibby. Jibby was heartbroken. Kylie goes, I'm sorry, Jibby. But the way it goes is I have dinner. And I wish I could stay longer, but I can't. So what does Kylie do? Kylie leaves the scenario. She leaves the area. Jibby's out there all alone. His dick out hanging. Just wobbling. Poor Jibby. Jibby starts to get a weird tingling feeling on his balls. It starts to hurt. Jibby does not know what's going on. But Jibby knows it's fucking painful. All Kylie had to do was polish Jibby's cracker. Play his rusty trombone. But she couldn't complete the dotes. Now poor Jibby's sitting in the grass. Dick hard as a rock. Balls tingling. A very painful sensation. So Jimmy thinks to himself. He googles. He goes on his phone. He's like. Mm, how do I get rid of this feeling? He answers straight like this. How to get rid of balls tingling. He finds out the magic word. It is called. Blue balls. Jimmy. Looks up. What is blue balls? He asks God why me? Why did I get blue balls? Jimmy's just so disappointed. He starts scrolling. He goes on Wiki Answers. He goes on Yahoo Answers, even though they, he knows it's not correct. But he remember his old little friend Chad told him, Jimmy, when you first get your dick sucked, don't panic. Just make sure you bust your nut. He looks back on those words. Jimmy finds out he never busts his nut. So that's how he got the blue balls. Basically, what it means is when a girl basically sucks your dick and you know you're about to bust or has sex with you and you know you're about to bust then she just stops like this it's like <laughs> done it's over it's that simple so Jimmy knows what he had to do he pulls out Mr. Sacco he rubs a little squirrely one out busts his nut Jimmy feels relief he's happy Jimmy goes home he eats dinner in peace he had mac and cheese with bacon bites he lays in bed he was like, damn, today was a good day, guys. Today was a good day. Jimmy sees Kylie at school. Kylie says sorry. Jimmy just shakes his head and walks away. He goes into the cafeteria, tells his friends what happened. He told Chad. Chad goes, did you get your neck? Did you bust your nut? At first, Jimmy says, I never busted my nut. She left me out there to dry. I was like a wounded soldier in Vietnam. Cold War, and I was just left there. No, all alone. All in enemy territory. Chad goes again. Did you bust a nut, Jimmy? Jimmy goes. He looks at him. He looks at people at the table. Shit's getting epic. Shit gets quiet. He's about to say yes, and all you hear is the bell rings. Ding, ding, ding. Time for next period. But guys... That is the story time or poor Jimmy meeting blue balls. Now, if you guys can relate, put down below the story time you got blue balled. Or, yeah, don't end up like Jimmy. Do not get blue balled. Call 1-800-SAVE-YOURSELF-TODAY. Your boy OG Teddy will be on the line. He will talk you through it. He will tell you how to do it. Get through with everything. Guys. Leave a like on this video, please. It helps a lot if you leave a like on this video. Also, comment below and tell me where you're from. If you're out of the country, tell me what country you're watching these videos from. And tell me if you're in the country, United States, what state are you from? Now, every like, guys, I'll start something new. Every like, I'll give you one lucky sock. Yes, one lucky sock. One white Nike sock for every like we get. There's going to be a lot of socks going around. I know you guys need socks. Because who doesn't? Just always remember, don't be a Jimmy. Bust your nut today. Alright guys, it's been real. Your boy, OG Teddy is out. And you guys, have a OG day. Boom, shaka laka laka. She can tell you what this deck day. You can tell she got a deck day. Back on the top, she love it when we go out. Look at me dead in the eye, put it back in her mouth. That's what I'm talking about. I just be dogging her out. I can't have another wifey. These bitches is trifling.